Hi, this is Allison, and today's day 66 of our video challenge. And I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed today. I, I actually, I want to ask you, if you went to the pharmacy and came home with two prescriptions that looked like these do, with pills inside the bottle and no label on the bottle, nothing. It doesn't tell you what it is, who the doctor was, when to refill it, how often to take it, how many pills are in the bottle. Are they something you should take with milk or should you avoid milk or it's okay to be in the sun or don't go out in the sun? Nothing. Would you think that the pharmacist was a little bit negligent, a little bit lacking in fulfilling the responsibility he has to tell you what to do with this potent stuff that he put inside this bottle? Well, I think so. And I guess I decided that I would take my annoyance and at least, <laughs> at least get a video out of it. So. What I want to talk to you about today is that I think that when we have a new client as Feldenkrais practitioners and we give a lesson and the person gets up and something has changed and we don't help the person understand what to do with that and when to come back and that they need to come back actually, at least to take ATM lessons or to have X number more FIs, I don't know, whatever feels right in this situation. But when we don't take the time and claim our responsibility as Feldenkrais practitioners to really inform our clients about the best way that they can use this potent thing that we've just given them, then we're failing somehow to help people realize how to make the best use of what we have to offer. So think about it because one of the most important responsibilities Feldenkrais practitioners have is helping their clients understand how to use the potent work that is the Feldenkrais method. Well, I think now what I'm going to do is take some lutein for my eyes and maybe chew up a piece of xylitol gum for my teeth because actually these didn't come from the pharmacy and you probably knew that. See you here tomorrow. Bye-bye.